if you've just started using dip pens and ink and you're finding them super frustrating and you're about to throw them away in disgust, stop. It could just be that you haven't prepared the nib properly. So I'm going to show you three simple ways to prepare that nib so that the ink flows and it'll hold a lot more ink. My name's Liz Chatterton. I'm a professional artist based in Berkshire and every week I bring you a tip or trick that I wish someone had told me about ages ago. And this week it's a short one, but it's how to prepare a dip pen nib. I've just treated myself to these new nibs. So they're Steno 361s from Browser. I had them recommended to me because they're quite elastic. So the, the tines spread, they're quite flexible. So you get thick and thin lines. But if I don't prepare them properly, I could be very disappointed. So I want to show you how to prepare nibs, dip pen nibs, so that you will not be disappointed. So what a lot of people don't realize is that when you get a new nib, it's actually covered in a coating of oil and that's to protect it so it doesn't rust while in storage and so they don't stick together through the manufacturing process. But if you don't remove that coating, you are in for a whole pile of disappointment. If I didn't know that, I would grab my bottle of ink and this isn't anything special. This is just dipping ink. Think, oh, let's, let's see how that works. Oh, it's run out. Okay, let's dip. Oh, people told me this was going to be a lovely nib. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Is what I would think to myself. So, how can we prepare this nib? There are a few different options. The first thing we can do is put it in some boiling water. Now, some people say that you should use a flame on it and burn the oil and the coating off. I'm not keen on that because I have visions of just damaging the whole thing. So you can put it in boiling water for 20 seconds to remove that waxy film. So put it in a glass jar and excuse me two seconds while I go and boil some water. Okay, one kettle, boiling water, and I'm going to pour that carefully into there and count to 20. So obviously I don't want to burn myself as I get it out. There we go. Just dry it off. Maybe just give it a bit of a wipe, dip. Let's have a look coating that much more but let's hope we get a rather better Ooh, if I actually sorry I haven't put it back into the holder terribly well mm, bit better but not fantastic let me just do that again because so I didn't have it into the holder terribly well so it wasn't comfortable to write with so can you see how those tines split looks really cool so dip 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 oh i'm making a mess doesn't matter let's see oh that's better isn't it yeah so it's definite improvement from here to here so that's option one option two is to use some window cleaner. I think in America they call it Windex, but just some spray window cleaner. So I've got a bit of tissue here. I'm going to spray it on and then I'm going to very thoroughly wipe that nib over front and back side to remove that oily waxy res residue so let's see what that's done again make sure i actually get it in the right place this time there it is gonna dip let's have a look 
that coating any better? Hard to see. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't do that very well either, did I? No, that really hasn't helped an awful lot. Hmm. Perhaps I didn't clean that very well. There's option two. I say, worked beautifully when I did the practice on this. <laughs> <laughs> option three and I will do this off camera and this is the old-fashioned way is to use spit do not suck it <laughs> do not put it in your mouth to do this you can spit into a tissue and then wipe it over right, so we have wiped that over I'm gonna put this back in properly dip and then let's see okay and there they go definitely better than without but on this very non-scientific um, study, I would say that the hot water seems to have done things best. The spit comes in second and the window cleaner comes in third. Some nibs are far heavier sort of oiled than others. So sometimes you might need to do it a couple of times, but it will improve. I mean, from here to here, it's made it sort of twice as good. The others didn't have as much of an improvement, but that's what you need to do to give your nib the best chance of performing for you.